usiku California iko nayo mahali that's the first song me ya kwanza ever hii sauti kuweka kwa microphone ipitie through alafu nikaisikiza kuisikiza si kwa CD tape wow tu hakuna CD hakuna CD CD ilikuwa ja kam sikiza kwa tape so una sikiza usiku California maisha ni mabaya utaekwa pingo sijui nini it was some worksheet nursery rhymes <laughs> but i appreciate it because as in it was my the first time kujisikia kwa 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 nini kwa ngoma and what did that do for you did you did it make did it like a farm you and be like mimi nataka kufanya more of this after usiku California that's where the spark spark ya no nini grew poop kalipuka nikasema now this is what i want to do as long as naweza sikia sauti yangu naweza imba kwa hii mic ikuwe process nisikie sauti yangu niweke kwa tenje na nisikie <laughs> ah, this is what i want to do and tukaendelea mbele uh-huh. with the clemo and jua i'll come back now to that story expound more but sasa tito because the hustle was too hard hatukuwa mm. na places za ku record vocals tunaenda gata o oh, ku buy vitu watu wana tu enjoy kwa mtaa wana wa like we're wasting our time tito hizo time alikuwa the, the alikuwa the shit tito hiyo <laughs> tito unajua ni original mc watu wanamjua uh. and then ye yeah, alikuwa na repair ga speaker pia alikuwa na mm. alikuwa ku repair speakers eh, za Kenwood and then alikuwa anauza alikuwa na buy speakers za Kenwood anauza kwa mamta so ukiingia kwa ya mtu mahouse ilikuwa zinapiga mbaya sana watu wakisikiza hip hop yeah. house na chuna tito was the one responsible in selling those speakers to people so he had a hustle mm. so akaona hiyo hustle yenye ile muziki aileti so alikuwaaga tu but ayuko kwa hiyo story yangu so akaniachaga and then sasa hapo ndio chemistry yangu na Clemo na jua pap and that's how calif started kwa sababu tuanze calif records Okay, you know a lot of people don't understand that you are in the birth of Caliph. Yeah. So vile nasikia hii story, you are not just an artist god. Wewe uliko huko kutoka Mwanzo. Mm. It's like you are one of the other pillars. It was kuna Clemo, mm. kuna Joakali, alafu kuna Nonini. Mm. It's just that now Nonini now Papase was the first artist being pushed out there. Yeah. Okay, endelea na hii story. Um See after Clemo left uh, Scratch he, he had ambitions to start his own record label. Mm. Yeah. Alikuwa na vision. Yeah, alikuwa na vision because sasa hii imeisha acha nianze tu ingine. Mm. And uh, pia sasa hiyo ndio yuko najua. Na pia sasa hiyo ndio nimetokea. So all these things were coincidences ziligongana. Mm. Si ati ni plan zili, yes. vitu ziligongana and and Calif that's how Calif became Calif because tuligongana at the right time. Mm. You get. So When one day Clemo said uh, to us tuko na kaga kwa sito yao as in Calif ilikuwa kwa sito sitting room ya kina Clemo sitting room we actually took over that sitting room mpaka madhake madhake budake yani bless them as in the bila hao Calif would have never been what that it is that is some crazy support they gave us the whole living room as in kutengeneza studio hapo hapo ndio si work hapo ndio mic iko hapo ndio computer itakuwa hapo ndio wasanii u record What? so you can imagine at our game wakikam they can't access that because it's the living room calif is in a house two bedroom mm. so ni two bedroom and then living room and then kitchen and then bathroom and whatever so mother clemo buda clemo exclusively wali chukua living room room yao of course room ya watoi ni side nyingine wakatupatia living room that so is the whole crazy day, you see tuko na record kwa living room that's a sacrifice they gave us so for me even being here and everybody who has passed through Kali they need to understand without your sacrifice ya family ya kina Clemo atungekuwa hapa wow 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 wow, wow. eh hey, parents parental support yo yes. yo ni normal so, sana so it abidi my parents were support talent ya watu wao so at that time when Clemo told me that that vision of a studio he told me Kali records me nilikuwa remember my my school days i was an artist mm. nikarudi back kwa computer sister yangu tumeka hapo mi hapo ma design ma design ma design i made the logo for calif records no way <laughs> you get red you red <laughs> then can imagine calif since ni estate zetu ni hizo ma nini ma itwa nini eh these are building yeah my apartment is juju yeah these are building zetu so ni kai kai so ma building in the background Uh, I, I love red red is my color from way back uh, so kai kai background ya red then calif ka imagine tu venye coca cola ile c uh. yake uaga nikatumia the same font kaka calif records na nikonsha clemo kusema deadly hiyo ndio logo hiyo ndio logo twende na kai print igi akai print kwa karatasi <laughs> what akai print kwa pepa akai print na akai kwa kwa mlango ya sito uliko kiingia unapata akaka logo kiko hapo 
and that's Caliph Records. Okay, let me let me take a pause a bit. Eh? Yeah. I want now you are thinking of entering the industry, but there are people in the industry. Mm. Are you guys like thinking hapa ndio tunataka kufika? Are you listening to them? Are you listening to the scene as well? Ogopa iko. Wakina Nes Renoise wako. Yeah. So, to record usiku California. Mhm. Tukirekodi usiku California ndio naanza kusikia mabuzz za muziki mingi. Eh, ogopa si ogopa tujui ogopa tunasikia kuna mamziki fulani zina cheza kwa radio kumbuka kina kalama shaka wako bali tunasikia uh-huh. dandora love tunasikia ma hip hop um, for us to be able to write the music the way we were writing and, and pia kuna vitu mbili tatu we learn from each, each other eh? mm. we had to listen to people tulikuwa nasikiza mamziki zinatoka mm-hmm. remember by the time we were listening to other people's music we were trying to make our own studio mm-hmm and have our own equipment mm-hmm. which there's no equipment <laughs> and by the time Caliph was being formed nilisikia jua on one of the cities I'll say I'll come record uh, isili uh, even before I came uh, actually nilikuwa hapo wa record isili tukirekodi hizo mosiku California after that to record ngome liko itwa gano nini ni nani na ni nini that was released though that was released that was now my first that official released, song yeah. out uh-huh. my first song but chapa hizo lyrics tena no nini ni nani na nini oh yes <laughs> no nini ni nani na nini no nini so you remember clemo sample ngoma ya bawao lil bawao ukisikiza hiyo ngoma there's a song by lil bawao that's why we sample that song for me to be able to do no nini na nani na nini bitza clemo So Mike hata kama yo Mike ilikamu kwa studio haikuwa Mike poa ni Mike ya computer so mziki tukisikiza after ku record muziki zilikuwa na kauchafu fulani mm, mm, kauchafu mm, yani mm, ka noise mm. kuna kauchafu because mali mna record ni kwa living room so the, it's it's not padded uh-huh, uh-huh. so so the microphone Some picks up eh, so ukisikiza muziki it's not clear hata usiku, usiku usiku California si clear so Clemo ina bug mind so anaanza kufikiria akapata computer so sasa hiyo ndio ma software zinaanza kutokea Mhm. Aklemo nini software zakapata software fulani. Anatuita ambia sikizeni tumerecord ngoma anaipitishia hapo kwa software. Anai clean. Eh tunasikia ile uchafu <laughs> kale ka noise. Kama hizi hapa alikuwa na noise reducer. Yeah, yeah. Ai imeisha. But before we even got our own official microphone tuko na record kwa buda fulani sili. U buda alikuwa na studio ya gospel. Nakumbuka u buda vibaya sana. Na ilikuwa inanijamisha hii story because tukienda kwa u buda anatuarakisha. Klemo ame book session na Buda 6. So kama Buda alijua anatupatia session ya 6, 6:30 anatufukuza yani tuko na session ya 1 mm, mm. but because we are not gospel artists uh, by 6:30 atataka kuchesa. Uh-huh. Because watu wake wa gospel wanaingia. Mm-hmm. But watu wake watu wake wa gospel wako schedule at 7. Mm. But sisi you know ni wa boys wa Kalif. So Klemo anaharakisha. Ataka ku sequence my track because that guy had a big motif. Eh, piano hizo mm-hmm, piano zilikuwa mm-hmm. expensive ilikuwa like 2 300 g's tutoe wapi so clemo anaenda na sequence ngoma haraka haraka he knows what he wants in his head clemo is a genius in his head ashapiga beat anataka kui sequence ana save kwa floppy disk because those pianos uh-huh. are floppy na... so ana save kwa floppy disk anacheza 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 kama si ku record pia tuna record haraka haraka because time is of the essence ana save kwa floppy disk so una get hata naweza kumka naweza kumka naweza kumka interview ya nani interview ya interview ya msioka akisema yeye eh, alikuja kuona wav na macho baadaye eh yeah, baadaye una so pia ilikuwa the same thing so tuliko tuna make ngoma kwa keyboard una program kwa exactly. keyboard sio hizo wav uzioni uoni 
Wewe na program mm. tu. Na program kwa keyboard. So, Ulianza that time? Yeah. Boss. Awoni awe awe. Sita squeeze unaona ndio you have vile naka. Pia tatuko tunaziona. So ukilemwa hapo na make nini? Cos charges wako na keyboard za Sunday mko so tunatumia hizo tunatumia hizo but machine kuna kuna floppy disk na kuja kwa computer na ikaflopi flopi was the flopi was the thing you know <laughs> si floppy disk yeah. cd zilikuwa lakini zikuwa zifika mm-hmm, Kenya mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so we were operating with floppy disks so anakuja na ikaka kwa computer then anafanya anything he needs to do with the songs later on we got so advanced sasa tukaanza by the time tunasikiza hizi muziki zinachezwa ogopa wanatoa muziki ziko mastered vizuri manze hii kitu ina bug na ina bug clemo manze sikia mastering yao watu beat Ogopal kwa la beat ina gonga mm. na kumbuka pilipili before even pilipili came uh, to Kalif pilipili was in a group jama guy called Ganbil kwa Ganbi na pilipili mm. na mpenda penda nani <laughs> ogopa nilisikia gyo ngoma 58 drama nilikuwa kwa matatu 58 drama manze ma 3 kwa zacheza gezi mangoma ukisikia kwa ma 3 beat venye ina gonga mm-hmm. ilikuwa inatusumbua siku tulikuwa tunasikia muziki on another level naambia klemo manze sikia hiyo beat bit venye na gonga speaker tunarudi production kile mondo ajua kutengeza track so naambia kile mondo mbona hiyo bit na gonga hivyo kuna kitu kile mondo anaanza ku double up beats you know like in a track mm. you, you put a beat unaiweka then you, you copy paste eh, ana double up sasa uh-huh. kaza ku double up beat tuki double up beat akaza usikie eh hiki tu saida gonga venye inafa but sasa we don't know how to make danceable music sisi ni hip hop artist Jua is a hip hop artist mm-hmm. he knows how to write sasa Jua alikuwa anaangalia ma lyrics anasikia vile naandika nini nini anani correct here and there pia saa zingine mimi namcorrect sawa akaniambia bo nataka sasa uanze ku rap venye unaona venye tunabonga yeah. hivi venye tunaongea anza tu ku rap hivyo nikamwambia eh Tito Rajo alikuwa amenion sha ku rap ki kiraga uh, 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 uh. akaanza kuniambia venye tunabonga nikamwambia so hivi venye tunabonga nikieka tu rhyme zangu na niweze ku iko sawa akaniambia jaribu my friend nikaanza saa kuandika tu acha niandike venye naongea niandike venye naongea akaniambia hivyo ndio inafaa niandike venye hivyo ndio inafaa hivyo ndio inafaa but we were rappers mm-hmm. so si tuko na hip hop culture Isa ameangusha ngoma moja Eh nikaambia jua sikio ngoma kuna kijana moja toka sauti jo kijana na 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 jo eh shit man at this time kuna show iko in tv inaitwa crash mm-hmm. warehouse oh yes warehouse yes <laughs> So ngoma ikiwa kali kwa radio and TV used to do because we don't have money to shoot videos mm-hmm. there's a lot of music out here Dandora have music eh, Kalif si tuna muziki but hazijafika kwa radio mm-hmm. ogopa out here coming out kuna Isa ametoka Nameless was there Nameless ni veteran Nameless alianza ga huko kitabu <laughs> Nameless sasa nilikuwa sasa acha acha ni pose story kidogo kabla <laughs> kabla Kalif <laughs> nikipiga zile maraundi zangu za club za F2 <laughs> nilikuwa naona ga Nameless Nameless alikuwa kwa club anaingia K1 jamaa amepiga hiyo kofia yake akisapere <laughs> star eh star na shindo jamaa vipi anajisikia dubies K South walikuwa mm-hmm. K South naona naona oh na mbona ndio Jerry Dubies naambia okay na muona gatu kwa mbali mimi hawanijui mimi ama fan naangaliaga naona okay so every time i'm meeting these people kina Tumaini kina Jerry Dubies kina Nameless naona kwa mbali I want Bambu. to be them. Bambu wote na I want to be them. Na jamii na akili yangu mimi nataka kuhama jamaa. Nataka kuhama star. So all these things are happening concurrently. This is insane bana. Sawa. So, Boss me I thought you so <laughs> by the time you became hey, okay the other two history many shika. Kumbuka Keishaka, Hardstone, hawa watu wote ni wa 96. Mhm. Mm-hmm, 96 Kenya mm-hmm, first chapter. Eh, sasa hapa sisi tuko ma 99. Yes. So this is what happened for us to be able to bring this Kenyan music to where it was tuko tumekasirika as caliph we were mad why were we mad because Kenyan music did not have respect yeah mm-hmm. Kenyan music ilikuwa inaitwa local mhm mhm kwa ita local music unaona ama DJ wote nimepigia story ama DJ who are responsible in taking Kenyan music now to the mainstream in the US uh-huh used to tell us the mix steps they used to do for Kenyan music club mziki ilikuwa inachezwa ni lingala mm. Ata club ukienda F2 ni nini nini mziki inachezwa ya Kenya ni lingala 
Lingala was the shit. Lingala watu katika nini nini. Hata ukipata wale ma old school generation yetu mbele kidogo mm. au ni watu wanaweza kuchezea dombolo wanaweza katikia <laughs> dombolo ijuani because that's their era. Mm-hmm. Walikuwa wapenda Lingala. But kitu liko ya tubug Lingala is not our music. Lingala ni mziki wa Kongole. Mm-hmm. It's foreign music. But since we don't have music that represent, rep, represents Kenya, we have the benga, zile mm-hmm. za mabuda mm-hmm. wetu, mm-hmm. but atuna mziki za the new culture uh, representing Kenya. That used to get us mad a lot. Na mziki inaitwa local. So yes, kina Kesha had come through, hip hop was budding, kina Hardstone, manze kuna show walipigaga 1998 na kumbuka niliyepaga chuo. Kawe they first time lost boys kukuja Kenya mnajua hip hop toroka shule na kinapita tuone lost boys keisha kwa walikuwa kwa hiyo show hao ndo manzee ma moto wacha moto iwake noma benson and hedges me say hiyo tu i'm thinking shit I want to be that guy. Lost Boys actually was brought by Zigzag. Zigzag, Zigzag. Mm-hmm. Yes, Zigzag the club, Zigzag, zigzag Zogo. Mm-hmm. Na ndio imbaga mali. So in my head I'm thinking I want to be those guys. Every time I'm thinking I want to be those guys. But mziki ejaenda mainstream. And then since uh, palikuwa na mambo ya Islands, then palikuwa na mababi. Mm-hmm. So mababi used to relate with music that is rapped in English. <laughs> mziki na rapiwa na kizungu. <laughs> M- mziki kirapiwa na kisheng. Awajio ni nini wanaita mziki ya maboho. <laughs> eh, obs. They say, you know those obs. They say, you know these guys are obs. So mababu ya kwa obs. Mziki za maboho. So hip hop ilikuwa ma... Iwa ni sheng ni maboho. Mm-hmm. Sabu ni watu wa Islando. So ijapata yo mainstream recognition. But mziki ni conscious. Mziki ni deadly. Mm-hmm. Siku moja tuju waka na my friend. Hii mziki kwa nini ito local. Remember all these things are not planned we're not sitting down and saying let's plan how to call our music ni stories kwa ile living room tu ya Clemo living room tu tunaka chini tunabonga tu tuna scratch heads lakini watu wanaita mziki local local ina sound kitu cheap local ina sound changa local ina sound local brew at that time mahatma is also our friend papa tumitaka papa uh-huh. so pia ukuja studio ku hang out so akuja studio tu ku hang out tunaongea tu so one day we just said boss to see times kietu Let's not call it local. Clemo akasema anataka tuiteaje. Clemo actually akasema anataka tuite mziki yetu genge. Niambie kitu yote. Unaitaje sana ni genge? Genge. Na watu wiki za kiwa ndede. Hata huko states jo msikize hii genge jo mkiwa ndede. Mtu mtu tupenda kusikiza nini hii genge. Sana sana tukiwa tuko ndede. Sikusikiza nini hii genge. Kwa bafu tukiwa ndede. Allah. Na ugenge. Watu wengi wanauliza genge ni nini? Niambiaje? Uh, kuna hii theory South African music inaitwa Kwaito. Tanzanian music inaitwa Bongo. Kenya ni inaitwa Kenya. Kenya. Ama local. Local. It's not a local. Local ni ni changa. Ni local. Local. Ati local artist. Ni busike vile jina mbaya. Who? This is just another local artist. This is no ni local artist. Kwa ni changa. He's singing local music. Attack hiyo. Attack hiyo tag hiyo. So we want a name for our so our music. are trying to build a name. Yeah, a name for our music and next uh, rap music yani yeah. our style of rap. So we don't want it called rap music. It will be imitating hip hop and everything. Yet yeah. we banger mm. fused with the hip hop oh. and fused with our traditional and our mother tongue plus na shengi. Kiswahili tumeichafua. Hiyo yeah. yote ina make up to gang. Now we came up with genge because ojo genge ni Kiswahili sanifu. Genge la watu sasa hii music yetu iko na mass appeal to Kenyans they love it so kenda kwa show so una genge ya watu tu so we called it genge music for the people genge and genge la watu so music for the people that's why we call it genge lakini bila hiyo wabamba wakiwa ndebe genge genge so next time usiite jo local local ama Kenyan it's called genge no matter who it is nameless nani no nini jua kali whoever genge not local local don jina mbaya sana sis kile uitagamati sio huko local eh wana au itako huyu ni hip hop hip hop kama ni country ni country r&b r&b kuna kama mtoka kati these are local eh these are kitu huko local hiyo ni madhara kweli hiyo pen madhara huyo local local artist with a capital T nikamza genge hebu explain genge kwa nini akaniambia genge ni tamu ya Kiswahili kwanza genge inamaanisha watu wengi mm-hmm. pamoja like a gang uh-huh. genge na watu 
lakini tulikuwa tumeanza ku drop hizo mahipo zetu hizo mahipo mbaya mbaya mm. hatujapata ngoma za club <laughs> palikuwa na no nini ni nani na nini me drop e, jua alikuwa na tulikuwa na ngoma tumepiga na jua inaitwa ni ukweli now the reason niliongea mambo ya Isa na hiyo kuna kijana mmoja kutoka South Jo nilijamii na hiyo ngoma Eh, God rest eh, yani rest in peace Isa yani alikuwa boy wangu nilikuja ku meet baadaye uh-huh. but before ni meet nilijam jo ngoma because i know hip hop so i felt i may be a black whoa, robe because eh, like, i know whoa. black robe that song was dope mm. you know black robe whoa. Mm. so the same he did the same but akaifanya version yake so yeah. that got me mad i'm like no so nikaandika diss track <laughs> So <laughs> in this track ni ngoma inaitwa ni kweli best. Ndakutumia icheze kwa background. Eh. Ilikuwa kali nilipiga garajua. <laughs> so but at this time ujecheze wa radio. Hmm? Na ucheze radio. Okay sawa. M- 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 Sasa ngoma tumetoa tuna distribute mtaani. Na aje. So kali watu wanakusikiza. You guys are like um Master P. Mtaani tu. You know unajua so I have a, I seen you're the first Kenyan example I can I can get of what Master P used to do yeah. distributing his music in in the south yeah. in the hoods mm. so you guys mulikuwa na record ampeleki radio muna distribute to test. see like i have told you Kali had this culture of everybody had big speakers uh-huh. Tito used to distribute the Kenwood speakers to different houses so watu walikuwa na blast gimziki so tukiwa kwa studio tunaweza sikia how flani ki blast ngoma uh-huh. so tukitengeza ngoma tunapatiana ambayo peleke wale majama tusikiwa ki blast tusikie venye ina sound does it sound What? okay inapiga poa eh ni ukweli song i did with you akali that's my first collab with you akali see my hip hop artist yeah mm-hmm. and this track uh, and i need this track <laughs> na nani amemba chorus clemo <laughs> sawa <laughs> na nani alimsaidia kutengeza track hiyo track uh, ukicheza utasikia kuna ka sound kanaenda tu utasikia sound hiyo <laughs> sound ni keyboard so when you gusa a key and then that kuna hiki tu na five hivi so pitch pitch pitch, pitch bender mimi si producer so clemo akicheza mimi nashika ile pitch na fanya na bina sound poa <laughs> set akaambia sawa akafinya <laughs> hiyo ndio the main nini in that track so that's clemo he made the track atuna chorus clemo akaambia ngojeni msikie sasa si tume rap kali frequency manze jina na jo mshaijua sijui nini 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 eh clemo akaingia kwa chorus mi nakwambia best tuliaskiza sikuji kwa ubaya tabia mbaya wacha best ulijidai eti sisi hatufai umeshikwa uko ndani wataka kalifu akutoe ka uko ndani na usote ah best na ukonde Kaliko tikisikia ile bojoa kuna tafuka ni sauti ya mpi lakini ninajua mshashtuka unajaribu kutoroka mkono zangu refu na kuvuta style yangu ni normal kujaribu copy wa gongo kuta wajifurisha chest mbele yangu mr kivita kasukue meno jo mdomo yako yanuka pipa sheng natumia kubamba watu wote huko Afrika sitoki kwa nyumba kwa sababu polisi watanishika chon kid kaga ngoma simu nilikuwa mnanicheka niko na slasha kwa mkono vichwa zenu nazifieka wata kuhepa mimi nikaa mwizi na mbio sana sikiza ngoma best kuna message ya maana ati mna kopi mimi msizo stress jamaa mtaezana ati wo ama ni jo when you fall tena sana na sana kwa hivyo wizi wata ni vile tuko plate Kenya amesleki sasa unge kwa kotini ukifes mashtaka mshenzi na pesa ya bond hauna mimi ni tats miaka 10 na kupa three strokes of the kenu kumbuke huko hakuna takula ozo uko ndani uko selina nuka na inatupa kama mtu amekufa kabaki mfupa ninakwambia tulia skiza sikuti kwa ubaya Sister kuni manzi yangu lakini nasimamini tunajuana mimi natoka kali juta yako 
tuko na nani atao mwingine kwanza ni nani atazika mwingine kwanza sitafuti chini uko kabisa kani vita jiona unapoa kwa giza besi zako kwa wapi mbona tu amehepa watu wa gakao ndio chikuta kwa jela huku mkiandika ngoma zangu asubuhi na mapema tunasungua tu muziki wa radio tetesa kuli tiko sala kisika bado tetesa anafikiria nini ni nyota na chikuteta ngoma zangu ni jua kali kwa ni nini ukisikia tafadhali cheze hivi mkono na mguta fadhali usio kuzeka hivi kwenye mtu makompli kodi ngoma kwa mp3 memory method hivi zo ngoma za kmc wewe it was a distract <laughs> so whoever mtiona tu ataka kumwambia kitu kwa mavazi tu ajuali angusha mimi kaangusha so i guess kinaogopa pia alikuwa anasikia mm-hmm. but sikuifanya na uh, romba later on i'll fast forward nilikutana na ganaisa tulipatana kwa show tukaongea mm. and that's the first time we ever met and i realized he's a cool guy and you know hakuna any personal yes, exactly. you know and that was quashed but yes <laughs> okay so the, the history we can't cut it genge so that's now in this car in this mix vile clemo aliuliza to to pige genge from that time you started calling your music genge tukasema so clemo let me come back now to genge tumeka kwa living room aka to explain here so me was sold you see once you sell for me a concept Konani. and nisikie na inimekia sense I'm sold and I run with it. Watu hata uniogopa sana. Mimi unaweza niambia kitu <laughs> na wewe usione the value of that thing but mimi nikiona I can run with it na ni toke mbio. Unyoya. So yeah, akasema hizi mziki tuzite genge kwa sababu mtaani watu walikuwa wameanza ku like hizi mziki. Tumetoa mm-hmm. manyu kweli, tumetoa no nini na nini, nini. Kuna ngoma fulani juali toa anaongea juu ya eh ilikuwa ni ya ma, ni ma, ma county tofauti tofauti ni maround ya meenda. So Remember matatu culture is growing. Kuna matriza namba tisa, kuna matriza namba nne. Hizi matri ni big islands. Mm, mm. Kuna 58 za buru. Mm. So for this music to be listened to zinasikizwa kwa matri, then zinatokea kwa radio. So wow. matri zinaanza kwa ground, zinaanza kwa matri kwa, kwa nini kwa ground ndio zinaenda kwa radio because if people listen to this music while they are traveling, yes, it's easier for them to request. Mm-hmm. So kwa radio ogopa weko huko mbaya sana. <laughs> Man, <laughs> wamesumbua. <laughs> Sisi hatuna quality bado poa kiss mm, mm. kiss kuna qualification flani ya mziki tunapeleka wataki and I'll come back to that but sisi tunapiga experiments kwa ground tumepatia na mangoma ni nini nini okay i was a dj ulikuwa <laughs> dj <laughs> what <laughs> ma mixtape zangu mingi sana zilizunguka isla dj habo uh. because hatuna pesa ya kulipa dj mwingine atutengeze mixtape nikamwambia clemoni na computer kwa hao ile assist yangu <laughs> <laughs> Nisha download software hii ya kufanya ma mixing na manini. Leta hizo mamziki zetu hizi mbaya mbaya. Shikanisha kuliko la DJ Habo volume 1 ilitokaga. Iko nayo ni ukweli, iko na no nini nani na nini. Na all these artists, we had artists who are now coming. Tukali for ajua kuna Kalif Records wana come, wana record ngoma moja moja. So we did a compilation claim to give me this music. So nazishikanisha zote. Can you remember any of the musicians who Smogies were? kuna group ya K South ilikuwa itoga Smogies walikuwa wengi walikuwa hard walikuwa hard kwa wezi toboa jopoa yale walikuwa hard wa hard and to be Smogies sim turn down you are hard. Hey, the guys were too hard. Alafu ni wengi wala kama studio karibu watu 30. Smogies. <laughs> of course walikuwa la Smogies eh palikuwa mwingine alikuwa aitwa nani man I, i'll get you that cd that, that's the hand of fast music yeah so natengeza mixtapes zinazunguka kwa mama 3 so siku moja tukasema damn hii mziki yetu bado mziki napendwa palikuwa na jamaa fulani alikuwa anaitwa gondes gondes alikuwa alikuwa neighbor wetu so gondes we decided to to tuchomoa to mixtape ilikuwa tape kabisa tape mm. Itep aiko ile itwa Kali Sector. Jo Kali Sector was Jo Kali's first album. album yeah. In mixtape ilikuwa itwa Operation Fagia. Ah, <laughs> I just remembered it. Clemos moja alika chini akasema jamaa. Ogopa wako huku kwa radio wanatupiga eh, hatuwezi fika kwa radio. Tuchezeni ground. Nataka tutoe CD, tutoe mixtape. Si CD ilikuwa tape. Tutoe tape ni itwa Operation Fagia. So all the artists who had recorded in Kali plus our music, utengeza compilation, chomoa tape, distribute manze operation fagia had uh, some interludes hizo interludes zilizotengenezwa nao jamaa sana sema anaitwa gondes kama unajua kali lazima ulisikie hizo interlude it's like a guy who's smoking weed and then ikana ongelesha jua kali jua kali kali jua hizi <laughs> mziki zako jo 
Lazi mzikizako lakini yani those were interludes in between the, the, the music yani gonde zeni umtani ilikuwa noma hakuna mixtape by the if i can ever get that mixtape people know about that mixtape I'll, i'll find it yeah. it was dope na hiyo ndo tuli distribute kwa mama 3 jua kali kali jua Africa Gaza Bzgabas business MC in Africa best ya na hotani ganji ndio ana mbona kutuvisha na retu dress code na tuchapa maana ana wacho utajifanya clark gable la ma brad pitt jinga eh Mbusu wa kwake akipigwa ngeta mimi ndio waga na moko. Ngoda nazianika kwa ndo. Sinaziona si zina shimo ndio zile pale. Hapana mazi hapana mazi. Jua 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 kali. Ah jua kali strong strong vop. Ile sidi ni fat kama mai ah. Ah vipi jama vipi jama. Eh yeye una bado mwaka kwa mawe tu. Amsakanyi nini? Round 2 hao sio. Tegesa ngoja ngoja niachi hiyo blue vas umeelewa tu natakia moshi 2000 jo mtu kwa gaile big maze video jikata maze ile tiki ile tiki ah utafia tu ka wewe jo blue yako basi why 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 ngoja 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 kidogo bakio bo why sure sure ndio bo ndio sure sure but i then now see ah sa tu alichikata You hold on. You know you guys Story ni more but no, 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 I, 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 boss, me I like the pace. Ata tunezana. I'm just trying to give respect where respect is due, eh? You guys hakuna kitu was stopping you. So it wasn't just beyond music. Calif wasn't just a tiki studio. Calif was a distribution network. Like kila kitu tufanye. Tufanye. Everything was Clemo tumeka hapo so we don't have music videos. What can we do? Brother Angu Nation na itwa Nation. Nation anaweza shoot my video. Nasho na amepata ka kamera, amemnulia ka kamera kadogo. Si nikwambia madanki, sio madanki kwa roof. Tunapanda kwa roof. Shoot video. Hizo ma video video zetu za kwanza kwanza zina shoot your nation. Nasho na na edit. Tufanye kila kitu in house. Cuz everything needs money. Yes. We don't have money. money. Yeah. So what can we do? So pia mimi ilikuwa ni drive na sema sasa what can we do to make our music blow up? Now let me tell you now when Calif now became boom came into the scene. 